There it is. Today we're going to address this floor squeak. Very loud floor squeak. It sounds like you're passing gas every time you walk through the kitchen. If you live in an old house, you probably have dozens, if not hundreds, of floor squeaks. Every time you walk down the hall, up the stairs, there's squeaks everywhere. The reason for that is they didn't use adhesive when they built your house or this house. And everything is nailed together with an old style nail that doesn't have glue on it. This here is a modern framing nail gun. This is what's used to attach subfloor. And um, the size varies. You can also use this to attach your siding to the outside of your house. If you notice, these nails have little ridges on them and they also have this green stuff on them. And when this is shot into the wood, it heats up and that is a glue. It makes it so these things don't work their way back out over decades of expansion and contraction due to humidity. So that's why modern houses, it's very rare to have floor squeaks because of the, the modern technology. Now the other major factor why modern houses don't have floor squeaks as much as older ones, they put the decking, which is large sheets of plywood, down on top of the joists and they glue it down with some subfloor adhesive. And that's, this is one of the things we're going to use to fix this squeak over here. Now I have access to their basement, so I'll be doing all the repairs from underneath. If you don't have a basement or a crawl space, maybe, I, I really don't know why you would have hardwood floors then, because usually you won't see these wood floors very close to the ground. Most likely, if you have hardwood floors, you have a, some sort of access underneath it. Before we head down to the basement, I'm going to take a measurement off of this corner of the house here. You'll see downstairs there's a, uh, a foundation wall that wraps right around here. I'm going to measure off the rim joist. That's the joist that goes around the outside of the house. Right there. I believe it's right there. 42 inches over. Straight off that corner. Not there. Like a little bit there. Not here. there. Well, 42 inches off that rim joist comes to right, right there. I thought it was going to be closer to this cross brace, but it's, uh, it's not. It's, it's right there, pretty much on that joist right there. So these Diagon Alley planks here, this is the subfloor. Most likely in your house you're going to have plywood, but if you live in an older house, you'll have, have this. First step is to secure the decking to the actual oak floor. I'm going to do that on both sides of that joist. Hey, okay, we've switched to the other side of that joist. And the next step is the glue. And a lot of times, all you really need is the glue. And I can see a little bit of a gap there. Well, all these have a little bit of a gap. Because you just want to squirt that on up in there. Right up in this gap here. Fill that up. The reason I use my finger is I'm trying to press it up into the gaps. Now I've got a 2x4 right here. It's a 2x4. And I'm going to glue this. Basically sister it onto the side of this and then screw it on there. But it's going to be bedded up into this angle here with this glue. So I've got glue all along the back side and the top. Let's see if I can get this up in here. Bed that right on up in there.
Sorry about that. Send it home. That's all you need in the for screws. The screws are just holding it there until the glue dries. And for extra measure, I'm gonna squirt some up in here. Well, that's it. I just have to wait 24 hours and that section of floor will be rock solid. Now you might be tempted to go check and step on it. Don't step on it. Wait for that glue to fully cure and it gets hard as a rock. It's, it will never ever squeak again. Now we're gonna be back here in just a few minutes, which will be tomorrow, and I'll show you that this floor does not squeak. Remember, 42 inches off this corner. It's actually right on this joint, right down there. I don't wanna step on it. I'm not gonna step on it. No more squeaks. Now, there's a lot of squeaks in this house. There's a squeak in this doorway. There's a squeak in this doorway. And there's a squeak over, there's squeaks everywhere. I'm in charge of this floor right here. And this was the major, major, loud squeak. It didn't take very long, maybe five minutes. Uh, you, you can just go around your house and do the exact same procedure. A lot of times you only need that glue. You don't need the extra two by four that is bedded up in there, but that will for sure take care of the problem. If you bed that two by four to the actual decking, the floor, and your joist. That's the way to do it the best. Uh, you can get away with just squirting in some adhesive and staying off of it until it's fully cured. What do you think of my new shirt? If you were interested in a shirt just like this, it's got the wheelbarrow, different wrenches, saw, roller. We got the old school drill. I'm looking in the mirror. Some uh, monkey wrenches, a hammer. A different saw, screwdriver, another screw gun. What else is on here? You can get this. They're for sale. They're mine. The link will be in the description. Here's another design that's available. You can get it with or without the website. What's the website? It's called thehandyman.store. Real simple. Thehandyman.store. Here's what it looks like without the website on it, in case you don't want the website. It's not specific to a to a, a YouTube channel, anybody can wear this. That's why I made, made it look like this, so we can all enjoy it, without having to look like we're some sort of weird fanboy of a YouTube channel. <whistles> Got sweatshirts too, nice and comfy. No, no website on this one. Maybe I'll put one up there that has the website on it in case you wanted to tell people where you got it. Comes with it on the back. All sorts of options. New designs will be coming and going. It's going to be a fun, fun project. The handyman.store. In case you're wondering, these are my designs. I talked about learning Inkscape in a, in a past live stream. I think it was a late night live stream that might be available i think it is available on patreon if you're interested uh there'll be a link in the description for that but if you're not you can go pick yourself up a tool t-shirt i think i might even put this a little bit smaller on a uh on a sweatshirt something along the lines like that maybe this would go good on the back on the back of a shirt not sure go check it out tell me what you think the handyman.store link is in the description